Hi, in this video I'm going to be showing you why, if you have the magnitude of a minus b squared, okay, you get the magnitude of a squared plus the magnitude of b squared minus 2ab. Now to show that this is true, we need to know two things. The dot product of two vectors is defined by a is a1, a2, all the way up to an b is b1, b2, all the way up to bn, and when you multiply these two vectors, you get this sum over here, which is a1 times b1 plus a2 times b2 plus, all the way up to plus an times bn. Okay, and in this case, n is the dimension of the vector space. Now, say you have a two-dimensional vector, a, which is described by x, y, and x and y are elements of the real numbers, then this is going to mean that a squared, okay, is x, y times x, y. And this is going to give us, according to our definition over here, x squared plus y squared. Now, if the vector a can be described by x, y, then its magnitude is going to be root x squared plus y squared because we use Pythagoras' theorem to get the magnitude of vectors. Now this means that the magnitude of a squared is x squared plus y squared, but that is the same as a squared. Now this bit of knowledge over here is crucial for our proof. Now this over here means that the magnitude of a minus b squared is simply the same as a minus b squared. Okay, if we take this understanding up here into account, and we say that we have the vector a, which is x, y, and b, which is the vector p, q, where p, q, x, and y are elements of the real numbers, then this is going to mean that a minus b times a minus b is equal to x minus p, y minus q times x minus p, y minus q. From here we get x minus p squared plus y minus q squared. If we expand what's inside these brackets, what we get is this below, and we can simplify this to x squared plus y squared in brackets, plus p squared plus q squared in brackets, minus 2 times px plus qy. Now, because the vector a is xy, then the magnitude of a squared is going to be x squared plus y squared, okay? So this up here transforms into this. Now, because the vector b is pq, then the magnitude of b squared is simply p squared plus q squared. So we replace this up here with this down here. And we've got minus 2 times px plus qy. But px plus qy is the same as the vector a multiplied by the vector b. Okay, so ultimately we've shown that the magnitude of a minus b squared is equal to a minus b squared, which is equal to the magnitude of a squared plus the magnitude of b squared minus 2 times a b. And there we have it, our proof. If you want these workings, I've left the link to them just below this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you want more videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And also, for more mathematics content, visit mathematics.proofs on Instagram. Thanks for watching this video and see you next time.